early May here in the Pacific Northwest, together with Scotch broom, Scots broom, English broom, Citisus coparius, family Fabaceae, or Fabaceae, or Leguminosae, cousins, peas, beans, acacia, black locust, honey locust, and so many more. Citisus coparius, it's a deciduous shrub with small trifoliate leaves that grows about one to three, occasionally four meters tall. In spring, it produces an abundance of beautiful yellow flowers that are characteristically shaped for its family of leguminosae, having bilateral symmetry or zygomorphic, and they can be cut in only one plane to have two equal halves. After pollination and fertilization, each bloom will produce a legume, a type of dry fruit that when it matures, it will split along two lines. Citisus coparis is native to Western, Northern and Central Europe. Because it's a beautiful shrub, it was introduced in Western North America, in Eastern North America, particularly in coastal areas, Australia, New Zealand, India, and probably more. Unfortunately, it's a noxious invasive plant outside of its native range. No plant, it's just noxious invasive. All plants will produce oxygen and uptake CO2 and sequester carbon and so on. Being a legume, it is also a nitrogen fixing plant, or rather it creates symbiotic relationships with rhizobium type bacteria that grow on their roots and transform the atmospheric nitrogen in available nitrogen for other plants and anything else living in the soil. Nitrogen is a very important nutrient in life, being the basis for both proteins and nucleic acids. But the problem with introduced plants that become noxious invasives, in this case, an aggressive noxious invasive, is that they displace the native plants. Native plants have co-evolved with numerous intricate relationships with other members of the community. When you bring a new plant or any other species for that matter in a new ecosystem, it has the ability to displace the natives, unbalancing the ecosystem. Citisus coparius, it is of particular problem and high expense to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, all the way south to California. Please do not buy this plant, do not plant this plant, and do not sell this plant, unless you live in its native range of Western and Northern and Central Europe. And if you have any land in the areas where it was introduced and now it's a noxious, invasive, non-native plant, do your best to remove it. I know, easier said than done but others have done it. Protecting and nurturing native plants and native ecosystems wherever in the world you live, it will bring back a healthier planet for a healthier humanity.